In this video, we will solve a problem that was asked by a brother on Telegram channel. The question is like this. When marginal cost is given by uh, 10 plus 0.4x, where x denotes the output, marginal revenue is given as 30 minus uh, 0.6x. Damage borne by the society is 10. Find the producer's loss when the government interferes uh, the externality. Okay. So we have to see what will be the producer loss in this case okay let's uh, try to find out what are the terms here so we have actually the marginal cost we can say this is also our marginal cost is here marginal private cost okay and it is being given us as 10 plus 0.4x okay marginal revenue our marginal revenue in this case will be our marginal benefit okay and uh, what we call the demand curve also in this case and it is being given as 30 minus 0.6x okay damage borne by the society is 10 that means uh, this is our marginal ex uh, external cost okay our marginal external cost is equal to 10 okay now we need to see what is uh, the producer loss or what is the loss of producer surplus when the government interferes uh, the externality okay let's try to figure out uh, it uh, with a, a graph let me draw the usual graph here okay so here we have the output let me write it here x and here we have the marginal uh, revenue let me uh, call it marginal costs okay marginal cost or marginal social cost or marginal private cost these are denoted on this axis okay first of all what is our marginal revenue that is marginal benefit curve this will be our demand curve in this case okay and uh, its intercept is here 30 so i will write here 30 for the sake of simplicity okay and what is our marginal private cost marginal private cost is 10 plus 0.4 x that means uh, the uh, intercept of our marginal private cost will be 10 so let me write it like this okay here we have the intercept 10 this is our marginal uh, marginal private cost okay so what will be uh, the equilibrium level of output and price here okay so first of all our equilibrium level of output and price will be uh, actually uh, denoted by the intersection of this demand curve and this marginal private cost curve what we call the supply curve here okay so when we don't have this uh, marginal external cost then our uh, optimum level of output will be decided by the intersection point of these two curves okay so uh initially our uh, optimal output will be at this point that means our uh, initially equilibrium will require that our marginal private cost should be equal to our marginal benefit curve okay so demand and supply obviously so what is our marginal private cost initially it is 10 10 plus 0.4 x it should be equal to our marginal benefit that is 30 minus 0.6 x okay if we transpose this 0.06 to lhs it will become 0.4 x it will become positive we have 0.6 x is equal to we will transpose this uh, 10 here so this will get subtracted to this 30 so a uh, 0.4 x 0.6 x so 0.4 plus 0.6 is 1 so we are left with x is equal to 30 minus 10 that comes out to be 20 okay when we don't have this marginal external cost what is our initial uh, equilibrium output it will be 20 okay let me write it here so initially our equilibrium output will be 20 and corresponding to this what will be our uh, price so our price will be equal to uh, uh, that is marginal benefit okay so marginal benefit curve because uh, at that at this point we can uh, calculate the marginal benefit and it is being given as marginal benefit is this so our price is equal to at equilibrium that will be equal to 30 minus 0 0.6 uh, into the optimal value of x which we calculated which is 20 okay and this comes out to be 
30 minus uh, 6 uh, upon 10 can be written as if we just change uh, this into the fraction into 20 okay so this 0 and 0 will get cancelled 6 twos are 12 30 minus kosher pattern 3 and value bath that near is 18 so we have the equilibrium price is 18 okay so let us uh, draw this here like this so initially our equilibrium price would have been 18 now since we have uh, the marginal external cost when we have uh, the cost borne by the society is equal to 10 what does this mean this uh, is the external cost or what we call the cost to the society okay or what we also call the uh, spillover cost that means our marginal social cost we have to calculate then marginal social cost what's hard to cut so i will uh, try to calculate here our marginal social cost will be equal to marginal private cost plus marginal external cost okay that means our marginal social cost is equal to what is our marginal private cost it is being given katitan ekhs 10 plus 0.4x so we have 10 plus 0.4x okay 10 plus uh, 0.4x uh, plus the marginal external cost that is the cost borne by the society which is equal to 10 okay so our marginal social cost will be equal to that that comes out to be 20 uh, plus 0.4x okay this is our marginal social cost okay now when we have the external cost then we are also being told that when the government interferes the externality okay when it uh, takes into account the external costs uh, encode uh, in this production line then what will happen to our marginal private cost curve it will shift okay that means our marginal social cost curve will uh, shift and uh, and its intercept will become 20 plus 0.4 so let me write it will become like this if i can draw it correctly it will get shifted to this so this is our marginal social cost okay now when we take into account the damage borne by the society that means our marginal social cost will be equal to the aggregate of marginal private cost uh, plus the marginal external cost and it will shift upwards okay and it is intercept obviously here will be 20 okay because we have 20 here so let me write it here 20 now what we need to do we need to find the producer surplus first initial producer surplus okay initially what will be our producer surplus now our producer surplus let me write here original or initially our producer surplus will be when we were at this point okay when we were at this point what was our uh, producer surplus so producer surplus is simply the area which lies above the supply curve and below the equilibrium price this is our supply curve before uh, taking into account this uh, cost borne by the society or when the government does not interfere the externality so this area the area of this value triangle gives us the producer surplus and what is the producer surplus producer surplus will be the area of this value triangle so its uh, area is one half of base what is base base is 18 minus 10 so let me write here 18 minus 10 for the sake of simplicity so 18 minus 10 is 8 into height what is the height we have from 0 to 20 so we have 20 here so this is ardan value that that dry earth earth but as get sore so for am i doing the calculation right here yes i am doing i hope uh ardan is that gay earth earth but as so we have let me uh, see it correctly yes 
I am getting it correctly. So it is uh, 8 by 4 is 8 by 2 is 4 into 20. That means originally our producer surplus would have been 80. Okay, that means originally this was our producer surplus. Okay, if I can. Uh, share this portion so let me share this here okay so originally this was our producers surplus now we are being told that the government has interfered uh, the inter externality okay so that means our social optimal level of output would be this point okay when we take into account the marginal external cost okay so that means we are at this point and what is uh, the uh, output uh, socially optimal uh, output produced at this point we can calculate it easily so we have this marginal benefit so new equilibrium will require new equilibrium will require that our marginal benefit uh, d also now in so marginal benefit should be equal to marginal social cost what is marginal benefit uh, it is being given us that is 30 minus 0 0.6 x and what is our new social marginal social cost this is 20 plus uh, 20 uh, plus 0 0.4 x okay now doing some uh, basic uh, manipulation here so if we transpose this here and transpose this here this will become 30 minus 20 is equal to 0 0.4 x it will get positive so we have 0 0.6 x okay so point shut point to go up so we have x is equal to that means at the socially optimal level our output will be this will be our output that's 10 okay and what will be the price then at this point so price will be simply price is equal to our marginal benefit that is equal to marginal benefit curve and what is our marginal benefit which is being given so p is equal to 30 minus uh, 0 0.6 of x okay what is our x so we have 30 minus 0 so 0 0.6 can be written as 6 divided by 10 the optimal value of x which we have here that's 10 okay into 10 so 10 10 cancelled so we are left with 300 24 so at socially optimal level our equilibrium price will be 24 okay so can set up let's draw it here like this so here it is 24 okay now what is uh, the producer surplus when we uh, produce at this point okay by externality i i want to reiterate here by externality we mean uh, here the negative externality it can be like the production of cigarettes okay so uh, we don't uh, at that point we don't uh, take into consideration uh, the external cost that can be the pollution to the environment or the passive smoking or the lung cancer other side effects that are being not taken into account when we produce at that very point when our demand curve is equal to marginal private cost okay so now let's see what happens to our producer surplus now since we are producing at this point okay this is the price and what will be the producer surplus producer surplus will be this very since this is our new supply curve so producer surplus will be the area which is above the marginal social cost curve and below the new equilibrium point okay so this is our new producer surplus and what is the new producer surplus let us let's write it like this new producer surplus is equal to the area of this very triangle that is equal to one half of base what is our base 24 minus 20 so this is 24 minus 20 into height what is height height is 10 okay I hope I am making myself clear. So this comes out to be uh, 200 of Wu that right so what do I basically go to? So this is 2 into 10. Okay. So our new producer surplus will be 20. I hope I am uh, making uh, the calculation right here. So 24 minus uh, 20 
comes out to be 4 divided by 2 tens are 20 okay so this is our new producers surplus now what is the loss to the producer surplus so loss to producer or producer surplus surplus is equal to okay so our original producer surplus was uh, ps minus ps that is new producer surplus when we produce at this socially optimal level okay so this is 80 minus 20 which comes out to be 60 okay that means the loss of or the producer's loss when the government interferes the external externality is 60 and i want to make it clear here since we are being given the marginal cost i assume that this is our marginal private cost okay marginal revenue i uh, assume it is uh, being given here uh, the marginal benefit okay so i hope i make myself clear in this video so it took me uh, two days to uh, comprehend how to solve this very question if you like my um, my uh, initiative to make more useful stuff for you please uh, for you people so please share subscribe this channel with your economic friends uh, that will be the motivation for me to making more useful stuff for you people thank you